Hey guys, happy Monday. And today's a big day. We are gonna be building up to a one rep max front squat. So remember, don't do too much volume, get really warm and mobilized. And then as you build up, try to have a goal for where you wanna go um, and all about a good setup here, all right? So when you come out of the rack, I always say this, in those warm up sets, treat it like a one rep max. So really focus on building good movement patterns in the warm up sets, prepping for that heavy load. When you get there, right, before you come out of the rack, take some time to make sure you can get that bar really deep, okay? Fight for good upright chest and elbows. As you come out of the rack, fight for that position as you're setting up. Set your feet, big breath, stabilize. And then drive up hard with the chest and elbows, okay? If, you're, if you watch from the side, you wanna really avoid as you come down, particularly when you, the hips come up, boom, now it's in my wrists, right? You're gonna lose that weight forward, okay? So you have to fight for position, uh, this is the type of thing where if you wear a belt for today, even if you don't normally, that will help support the, the back position a little bit more to hit that number. Log your weight, because we'll use this number to work percentages moving forward, all right? For our conditioning, fun conditioning, we're gonna be doing a version of Cindy along with some sandbag cleans and bike. Cindy means five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 squats. This is great prep for the workout Murph that's coming up on Memorial Day. Uh, for this workout today, you're gonna do two rounds of Cindy <clears throat> plus five uh, sandbag cleans or med ball cleans, um, and then on the bike for the remaining calories. Okay, so for Cindy, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats. Right, these will be kipping pull-ups, focus on good range of motion. Okay, you should do a variation that you can do five reps in a row, okay? Um, so that might be ring rows, where you set up the rings and you're doing five ring rows, but something that you can move through, use a band, good range of motion, good intensity, relatively unbroken. The push-ups are, are notoriously challenging, right? So good range of motion, chest touches the ground, good lockout every rep. If you wanna elevate your hands or maybe use a band around your waist to get good range of motion on the push-ups, that's gonna be the middle part. And then our air squats are all the way down, all the way up, no weight. Just try to get that good full range of motion every rep. So these are just three body weight movements. Focus on quality. From there, you're gonna go to a heavy-ish sandbag. There's multiple styles here, but you're gonna focus on, if it's heavy, get your fingers underneath it, drive up with the legs to the chest, wrap it, and then use your hips to drive it up to the shoulder, okay? So again, at full speed, if this were really heavy, I'd get my fingers underneath, drive, wrap, hips and come up. Try to avoid just picking it up like this, where you'll feel that in your bicep a lot more, okay? You might use a sandbag like this, same concept. You can use your uh, handles, right, where you drive up, jump here, or you can grab in between, come up, grab it, up to the shoulder. Depends how heavy it is, should be relatively heavy. And then from there you hop on a bike, um, and then after this workout, we got that part two uh, accessory work, so make sure you hit that at the end. That'll be our Monday, guys. See you tomorrow.